Wow. You have got to applaud this kind of marketing for Cardi B. I'm at I'm in awe at this marketing plan that they rolled out for Cardi B. You know, I, I swear to you. This has been nothing less, less or short of just incredible. And I I love great marketing. I just wish all the mainstream artists could get this kind of rollout. You know what I mean? I mean, this is incredible. This type of rollout don't even happen. You feel me? This type of rollout never happens. This is an amazing, amazing marketing trip. Now, one thing I do agree with Joe Buttons on is the way the record companies put out records and albums. They're not in a rush to do so. No, because this is a singles business. It's not a record business anymore. So people are not interested in selling albums. And this is what I was telling y'all before. They're a, Cardi B is a, such an established marketed human being with so much personality that you can get an album out right now. Like, we got to get this album out right now. And the reason why they got it out so fast is because of that pregnancy. You have to get ready to market the pregnancy. This is the, how many times did we know Cardi B was pregnant? I mean, people have saw her on tour with, with Bruno Mars. You saw her do like the award show. She had the baby bump out there then. Either that or she just had a very... Big eating problem. <laughs> so you already knew she was pregnant. Everybody around her knew, so they tried to make it like it was a big reveal on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> when people, everybody in the free world knew Cardi B was pregnant. Even the chick that was supposedly messing around and might be messing around with Offset. She was the first to leak it on the internet months ago. When she was like, and by the way, I'm pregnant and she's pregnant too. So, I guess y'all can go back and thank Thank the chick that all said was supposedly messing with. And that might look solidify the fact they was messing around with each other because of that. But their decision to go at it together. And do what they did. That's what, with the marketing plan, with the rollout, with the album, now they're using her pregnancy as a piece of the marketing for the album. And the fact that the album don't suck, it's all they need. They needed for her to have an album that didn't suck. Now that helps it. Don't have to be Thriller. Don't have to be Illmatic. It just has to not suck. And now they can push the rest of the entire project. Saturday Night Live rollout. The sit down interview with Ebro. And now, after the sit down with Ebro, you got Saturday Night Live. Now, here it is, Monday. Her album came out on the 6th, three days later. 
after just doing Saturday Night Live with our album drop. They are coming up with this new reveal, people trying to guess the name of the baby. Cardi and I are looking forward to the next chapter together. The next chapter together. Do you believe that? Offset actually said that in a tweet. So you know he did not tweet that. <laughs> so people on the internet are out there trying to name the baby. Pyru Cyphus. I'm like, are you trying to get the baby in trouble already? That's crazy. Pyru Cyphus. It is a great marketing scheme. Well, I'm not I'm not calling the baby all sets baby. I don't even know who baby that is except for Cardi B's. Cardi's babies, all sets maybe. <laughs> so it is what it is, you know. And, you know, people jumped in. They got body air. They got all kind of names going out. It's, it's getting ridiculous. But if you want to join in, it's on Twitter. And you can get in the line with everybody else. Well, yeah, the Cardi movement has been massive. I just applaud the marketing. I love it, dude. I really love good marketing. And I just wish a lot of artists got this type of rollout, dude. For real. Like, you don't even understand. I just think it's next level incredible what just happened. Well, look, I'm all for somebody just blowing up and doing what they, you know, want to do in the game and and coming up here. But this has been an incredible ride, like from marketing perspective, from her looks at the war shows to because that's not a personality that you could really control. Like she's borderline gonna say something crazy at a place she's not supposed to. So them cleaning her up as far as look in certain places, uh, what she can get into, what she can't. The marketing of Cardi B has been incredible. And I have applauded it all the way around. Now, I'm not going to say she's a product of just marketing. But if you look at everything that's been put out and laid out in front of the world and look at Cardi as an artist, you know, she's just, you know, she could hold her own. Like, no matter who wrote the song, okay? Nobody's looking for her to get in writing credits. And I'm not saying every rapper should rap. You know what I'm saying? 
what I'm saying is we should definitely, definitely pay attention. Because she can show you, like, all you got to do is stick to the beat, stick to the flow. And you can make a hot record that's cool for the strip club and everything else. But what she did was made sure she tried to get you some range on the album as well. Like, she ain't gonna make 13 stripper records. And I appreciated that. You know, not, <clears throat> not all the stripper records work for me. But I know when I hit the strip club next, I know exactly what I'm going to hear. <laughs> but anyway, all oh, dudes going to bump that Cardi B. They love stripper songs. Whatever makes the strippers move, they like it. Good mark. Good mark. <laughs> Putting her, I mean, she's she's on a remix with Bruno Mars. Because she's not on the original song. The first time you really heard Finesse, and it was a remix with Cardi B. And you ain't even heard the song, but the original song don't even have Cardi B on it. But just adding Cardi B to it just gave it some flavor. Even though she really says nothing on the song, didn't matter. You just needed that energy. This marketing play, I swear, I once again, man, I am very, very happy with this whole marketing rollout. And they showing you how it's supposed to be done. Thank the managerial team for Cardi B. And that's just it, man. I'm out.